Okay, another day and another cloud-covered day in Tasmania. We're in uh, Southport now, uh, which is right down the bottom end of Bruni area. And um, another historic sort of place to do with the penal settlement and things. A um, few odd things hanging around from the fires and things. This woman here, there's a cafe there called the Rocket Ship Cafe. That was also very interesting. Um, the other thing they have there, and this is over in the Deep Lagoon Anchorage, is the old Ida Railway. Um, well, it's not old, old, but um, it's disused now. And the bush is taking over. So here's a few uh, shots. We've done the walk along the tracks, um, as well as the track that goes over the hill and down to the coast as well. Uh, well, the Ida Railway, when it was running, it's just a narrow gauge railway. It's only very small. It's about two, two and a half feet or something. Um, it was closed down because so I think what happened originally is the maintenance for the track from Ida, which is further up into the hills, um, and this was the end station, um, become too much to maintain the sleepers and things, even though the tracks are still good. And even um, some of the uh, branches that come off the actual handle for operating those branches even still worked good so I think it was only about 19 uh, 2021 when they closed down and of course um, this little building up in here in the clearing was the end station um, like a central station at the end of the line so the line here, as you see, it splits up. There's a big loop. So the train used to come in, and you'll see by the photos where it used to stop and let people off, and that's what it used to look like. Um, and they used to do the loop and come back around onto the track, what you saw before with the branch there. Um, the train itself, is, it still exists, but... Um, as for running it anymore, it need way too much money to be spent on the tracks now. So eventually all this will be overgrown, total bush, you won't even see it. So when you come around here, there's a track, as you can see down there, which runs off. And there's a couple of tracks, well there's one track, but splits up part of the track goes over to another lagoon which is down on the coast which is more or less at the bottom than the start of the west coast of Tassie and the track also branches off and goes up to a peninsula um, where they've got a memorial where um, they had a penal ship um, wrecked on the rocks up there um, most of the people on the boat had drowned and died whether they were shot or um, drowned that's another story but that's the sort of thing that happened around here and that uh, that was part of the history as you can see the track uh, is a bit boggy here and there we've had quite a bit of rain down here but um, it took us a couple of hours to walk the track just to get to the lagoon part and had to carry the dog some of the way. She just doesn't make the distance now. But it was an interesting walk. The track's also used by numerous wildlife. We've seen scats for wombats as well as wallabies, um, quolls and all sorts. 
and so you'll start to see the beginning of the lagoon uh, which is called Deep Hole Bay um, it's only a very shallow sort of lagoon and you'll see it opens up to the sea down there which is more or less the beginning the start of the west coast of Tassie um, and as you'll see quite a bit of wildlife uses down here because uh, there's holes everywhere through the scrub like here you see that everywhere along the track so it must be very busy at night time anyway uh, we had a bit of a walk around down at uh, Deep Hole Bay and as you can see the track's not exactly uh, well kept but um, it was walkable and as we pan back around um, that's Deep Lagoon Anchorage where we come from and that's, that's our trip coming back doesn't look all that far but it took us a fair bit walking it one of the things that we did notice so while we've been staying in the deep lagoon bay um, was the actual swell that comes in because um, Southport is sort of reasonably open but it is quite sheltered to a point and as you'll see when we come over the bay you get a residue swell that rolls around the corner we started off up this end of the bay which is the eastern end of the bay on the shallow water thinking oh yeah nice and sheltered until the swell started rolling around there and uh, we ended up spotting that because it's called the deep lagoon there is a deep section you'll see out in the center of the darker water which runs right in close to the beach and all the boats that are in the deep lagoon part are nice and still so we've learned a bit there um, you go over to the deep lagoon you, you can virtually just sit still while other boats that are hanging out on the edge are getting the swell are wondering what the hell's going on well this is why when you look at it but anyway um, as with all the Tasmanian water areas the water is crystal clear here white sand as usual and what we have found in all the white sand areas um, white sand being a, a really fine silica sand it's a really hard sand too um, great for landing the dinghy on with um, wheels you can wheel up on it easily without digging in and for beaching catamarans ideal because you can sit nice and high on that sand it's so hard so as you can see in the picture here that's Camelot our boat down there in the lagoon part and we're actually sitting in uh, I think there's about six or seven meters of water there and that runs up quite close to the beach so it's an excellent place a lot of the yachties seem to like it because in the end we did have a lot of yachts come in and out of there and flying across we're looking across to um, Southport itself the township and as we pan around um, this is the rivers the river and the lake system that leads up into the waterways which goes to Ida and these other townships up this way as well and the railway actually runs along the bush line close to the water through all the bush so quite an interesting place so as you can see anything south of here now going down towards the bottom end of Tassie now just gets better and better.